Hello guys, and today we have here another very awesome deck profile. We have here Speedroids, and this is a very interesting deck to say the least. Um, it is a pretty much a synchro based deck. It is possible to XZ summon to one extent or another, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but there is a lot of weird stuff in here that's actually pretty interesting. Very wind attribute based. Um, you can make Quasar on this deck. It's just really hard because you. Um, this guy is really good, but if you use effect, you can only special some wind monsters for the rest of the turn. So that pretty much says no quasar. But it is possible to do. I've gotten close, but I haven't done it yet. I've gotten really close a couple of times. If my opponent just didn't have the back row, I would have been able to make quasar. Alright, I'm just gonna go right in. We won three quick draw synchron. He is really good in this deck, specifically once this guy was added. At first, um, when I started playing this deck and testing this deck, this card was not on salvation. And then they added it, and it just makes him even better. Quick Draw Synchro, even better, because it's just really good. We have the two love leaders, as you can see. It's just great for uh, bumping out a whole bunch of good Synchro monsters. Like this guy who can spell summon um, Speed Void, I'd, Red Eyed Dice. So there is a lot of combos you can do with him. And then we have Double Yo Yo, who will spell summon a Speed Void monster from uh, level 3 or lower Speed Void in your graveyard, and you can special summon it. So that is really, really awesome. Um, if you spell some uh, the red eye dice, you can then go for the synchro summon. Your one junk synchro one just to be there, to be there. He's just a good tuner. You can just normal summon him, special summon something else out. Most of the low level monsters are tuners, except for our max C's and our level leaders, so you note that. And then Bigio Max, he is awesome. Bigio Max is awesome. Um, if you control no monsters, you can spell summon this card from your hand. When this card is normal, spell summon, you can add a speed void monster from your deck to your hand. So he's just really good. If you open up with him, you're going to go really, really plus because you can search him out. And then you can summon him, search this guy out. He spells some himself out. He'll get out red eye dice. You can then go for a um, clear wing without even using your normal summon. So if you have this guy, you can go for a uh, high speed void magical sword dharma. So yeah, there's a lot of stupid stuff you can do here. And then, yes, OJ Kid. This guy... He's different from this because he can spell summon any wind synchro monster from the graveyard. So that includes this guy and any wind tuna that you have in your graveyard that you might want to tech in. But if you use this effect, you have to synchro summon immediately after. But this guy can only be used for synchrons. So I don't think there's a target that's viable because you have to synchro summon a wind monster. So if you summon out this guy, he just stays on the field. You don't have to get rid of them. So that means you can do even more stuff. And just because um, I'm not sure if that's the official one, but I know when I did use this guy's effect, I could spell summon Red Eye Dice or Quick Draw Synchron, but I chose to summon Red Eye Dice. So I thought that would have been the better play, and I had to make Castor immediately. I don't know exactly what would have happened if I summoned Quick Draw Synchron. I think he would have just sat on the field because there isn't a Wind Synchro monster that I could make. It would have been a level eight, and um. That would have made Stardust, but yet he cannot be used to make Stardust. He can only be used to make um, Synchro Monsters that we list a Synchron as a material. So that is something to note. Also, he will not trigger Red Eye Dice effect. That is something to note. He will not trigger Red Eye Dice effect. And then we have Hawking and Take Thunberg. Is this German? I'm not sure. Probably not. I think it. I have no clue. Um, if you control a Wind Monster, you can spell some of this card from your hand. You can tribute this card, special to Speedway Tuna Monster deck, and you can only special summon win monsters for the rest of the turn. So that is a little bit annoying, but hey, it's a free tuna. Um, you can do a whole bunch of deck things. As I was saying, you special summon him, you special summon him, and then you can do a whole bunch of stuff. You can get this guy out and then go for synchro summons for days. And then we have the Max C effect, Vela, Yukio, Sagi combo, where you run two, two, and then the three Max C. So we have some hand traps. These guys are just really good with Node and they're great for um, Synchro Summoning because as you guys can see there's a lot of monsters that can spell summon themselves. So you can just normal summon these guys if necessary. And then the Maxi of course for draw power. Two level leaders just to make sure we can see it. Level leader is really important especially if you're trying to make Quasar. Quasar isn't necessary in this deck and probably shouldn't even be in the deck but I like Quasar. And I want to see if the deck can make it and how easy it is to make it. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave level leader in there. 
He's just and he's just great for just for synchro summoning in general, just doing stupid combos. And then red eyed dice, this guy's awesome. I wonder if he red eyes, yeah, it's red eyes. I will for a second I thought he, he could he could be a target for a red eyes monster, but he is not. Um, when this card is normal spell summon, you can target a speedroid monster except itself and change its level from one to six and it becomes that level. So yeah, you can, as I was saying, you special summon, you special summon, you tribute, you special summon, you, you make this guy a level 6 and boom, you can go for your clear wing right then and there. To affect Bailers, as I already said, instant fusion for the Noden, because we want to be Quasar and he can be a 3 Amadis or a 3 level 7. Uh, one for one, uh, he can special summon out any of these cards. Glowbulb wouldn't be bad in the deck at all either, because he's Glowbulb can special summon himself. For Jackie, the Soul Charge again. Soul Charge works great for synchro based decks, it's just amazing. Um, Iron Call, if you control a machine type monster, you can target level 4 lower machine type monster and special summon it. It's in the gate, its effects are negated and destroyed in the end phase, so it's pretty decent. Just to just go back and special summon monsters. Do note you can only special summon this guy once per turn. 3 up starts for consistency, the foolish for the level leader, and the two tunings to get our quick draw synchron. And yeah, this deck is very interesting. A lot of monsters, a lot of monsters, but some of them are hand traps. And very, very interesting. Do note this is before the ban list. I have not seen the July ban list, if there will be one. So yeah, um, if there's any uh, big things, like if Rejecki is illegal, then Rejecki is illegal. If Up starts at one, then yeah. But if this deck gets like wrecked before it even comes out, then uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so yeah, that is the thing. I'm still really curious about this guy because I'm pretty certain he can spell some quick cross synchron. But you don't have to go for a synchro summon immediately if you do, because there is no targets. So, which means you can just make this guy. Because you could. But yeah. Um, so, anyways, for the extra deck Elder God Noden, spell summons a level 4 lower from the graveyard. Uh, Quasar, it's Quasar. This guy can summon out speed, uh, Red Eye Dice, but requires two monsters. Two non tuned monsters, and he is a level 9, and you have to use Quick Draw Synchron. So, if you got out this guy, and then you had some other speedroid, and you could special from this guy, you could change the levels, or you maybe use this guy. I'm not sure, but he is still good. He You can probably make him, he shouldn't be too hard. And then Junk Destroyer, you can make him a Junk Synchron, of course, or the Quick Draw. He's Good because the number of non tuners you use, you can destroy cards on the field, and one of the duels you'll see me destroy a door and then be able to take a monster, which is awesome. Stardust, Clearing, and just a whole bunch of level 7. Uh, Magical Sword, Dahama, he, he inflicts piercing damage, he, you can banish a machine type monster from your grave, you inflict 500 damage, so a little bit of burn. And if you control no cards, and this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon it, but you do not get your normal summon. So that is something, it's just great because it keeps on coming back if they can't get rid of it. The One Ride Librarian, the Armadis, the Junk Warrior, the Jet Warrior, the Hastor. Hastor is kind of a snatch deal. Um, he And snatch deal plus Fiendish Chain, if he leaves the field you can target a face on monster your opponent controls. Negate its effects, including if you single summon with this. If you single summon with this, you can use this effect. Uh, negate its effects and cannot attack and if this card then leaves the field again you can then destroy it no you if this card leaves the field again you can then take control of the equipped monster so that is something that is really nice and then the one formula so we can make quasar yeah we do not run this guy i don't really like this guy this card can make two attacks which is decent he has 2200 attack is against 200 if it is sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished speedroid monsters added to your hand. So it works well with this guy, which you definitely want to make in the game. But it's just like, yeah. Because it doesn't seem all that strong. Just 2200 that can attack twice. I feel like that isn't too decent. So that is the extra deck. That is the entire deck, pretty much. Really, really interesting deck. I'm wondering how this deck is going to turn out. Quick Draw Synchron is surprisingly really good in the deck. Um, the, there's other things I've thought about, like you can take out the Yu-Gi-Oh! Sagi, the Maxi, and the Fact Bearer, put in Chicken Race and stuff. Um, I know Chicken Race at Quasar is a thing. And, yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff you could do with this deck. Um, getting, having tuners is very important. You need to know what you have, 
especially when you under this guy. And there aren't a lot of good wind monsters, wind synchro monsters that you can just make. There aren't any that are really good. So when you're under this guy's effect that you can only special on wind monsters, it can be really annoying. If this guy didn't have the effect, then I'm pretty sure you would be able to just pump out Quasar very easily because you would just be able to go off really easily. And yeah, um, you would be able to make phone on really easily and just be amazing. But unfortunately, you can't. And so you just have to make do with what you have. And yeah. Yeah, so guys, stay tuned for the deck profile that will, not deck profile, the duels with this deck that will be up tomorrow. Um, yeah, still waiting on the ban list. There will be a ban list reaction video and discussion video whenever it comes out. If we get it. Because we're probably going to end up like the OCG. We're probably going to end up like the OCG. Because it says effective April 1st and doesn't give an end date. I don't know why anybody else didn't pay attention to that, but yeah. So, that is what's going on in Yu-Gi-Oh! And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.